So now we'll talk about the nomenclature of sulfides. Now, uh, just like a thiol was kind of the sulfur analog of an alcohol, a sulfide is the sulfur analog of an ether. And you've just simply got a sulfur bonded to carbon chains here instead. Uh, in this case, we'll name them just as a substituent. Whichever side of the sulfur has a longer carbon chain, that's the major chain. And therefore, the other side just becomes part of the alkyl thio substituent. So in this case, our alkyl group's a methyl group. So this is a methyl thio group. You see that word thio anywhere? It always refers to sulfur. Uh, in this case, our longest carbon chain is one, two, and three carbons. We numbered it in such a way that our only substituent would get the lowest possible number. And so in this case, this is one methyl thio, and the three carbon chain is just propane. So one methyl thiopropane. Now, looking at the synthesis of sulfides, it's very similar to the synthesis of thiols. It's straight up SN2. It's totally review. And instead of using SH minus, here we're going to use S kind of R minus. And that R doesn't have to be a methyl. It could be a variety of things. Uh, but we're straight up going to do SN2. He's a nice strong nucleophile. Kicks off the leaving group. And now you've got your sulfide. So complete review. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. So just as the primary way we make a sulfide through SN2, it turns out it's also one of the major reactions they do is SN2. Uh, now a sulfide, even without a negative charge, sulfur is large enough and polarizable enough that this is actually still a pretty decent nucleophile. And we could do backside attack on like a primary methyl halide, kick off the leaving group, uh, and form this lovely species. Now you'll notice the sulfur here has three bonds and a positive charge. It itself can therefore then act as an electrophile as an alkylating agent. If I had a strong nucleophile to this, that nucleophile could come and attack the methyl group we just attached, break the bond we just formed, and now the nucleophile would be attached to that methyl group. And we'd say that that nucleophile had just been alkylated. So turns out there are some biological relevance here. There are just certain sulfides that react in just this sort of way uh, to methylate things in your body. Now the last reaction of sulfides is oxidation. And it turns out two steps of oxidation are possible. If you do just one step of oxidation, your sulfide turns into a sulfoxide. So, and if you do a second step of oxidation, you can turn that into a sulfone. Uh, there are a variety of different oxidizing agents that are capable of pulling this out. These are fairly readily oxidizable. Uh, so I'm not going to get into specifics here, uh, but you should just realize two steps of oxidation are possible. One step leads to the sulfoxide, two steps leads to the sulfone.